by day, watching time drift away as we burn away. Yeah, what's up? Um, it's like uh, I don't even know. Five days after Christmas or something like that. I'm not keeping track at all because uh, I don't have to go to school, so I don't really have to care about what day it is. Um. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I have a cold, so, um, my voice is probably going to sound a little different. Uh, <clears throat> and because of the cold, my head's in, it's kind of like a fog. I can't really think of stuff. I don't think, I don't really think straight. So, um, yeah, excuse me if the commentary in this next couple of videos aren't going to be too good. I've had this cold for like a week now. And, uh, yeah. But, um, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, whatever it is that you celebrate. I know this is all belated now. I didn't really do a Christmas video because I couldn't think of anything to do. The only Christmas game I can think of is something with snow, and this is the only game with snow. So I'm already doing a playthrough of a game that is Christmas oriented a little bit. Oh my god. Okay, um. But, uh, I got a headset, so, um, I haven't made any videos with it yet, so I don't know if it's gonna, you know, make the quality, the audio quality any better or not. But, um, I hope it does. And I got a controller. Now, uh,. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. The real reason I uh, chose this game to do was because um, I didn't really. Uh, I couldn't really think of any games that would be easy to play on a keyboard. And uh, now that I have a controller, I might like do stuff like Super Mario 64, Banjo Tooie, and stuff like that. Because now I have a controller, which would make those games, you know, easier for me. Oh, wrong button. Whatever. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Did two people use pans there? But, um... Yeah. So, um... What I said, I don't remember how many videos ago of this game. But, oh, nice. A while ago, I said, uh... I think it was back in Dizzy, Dizzy Land, which was, sorry, which was, uh, I think two Snowboard Kids videos ago? Yeah, two. Um, I said I was gonna do this, and I was gonna do Tony Hawk, and then I was gonna do, uh, Snowboard Kids 2. I don't know if I'm gonna still do that. I might do that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish this. Um, I don't know if I'll do Tony Hawk, though. I might do Super Mario 64 instead. And then I'll probably do Tony Hawk. Because now that i got a controller, I really want to do a bigger Let's Play than something, you know, Tony Hawk and Snowboard's Kids status. Where it's just a simple little game. I want something big, like Super Mario 64. So, uh, I might... I might do that. And, uh... I hope you guys don't mind me doing that. And if you do mind, fuck you. I don't really give a shit. <laughs> if you care or not. Because it's my channel. I make these videos because I like to. So. I don't even really care if I'm entertaining you or not. <laughs> awesome. Because to be honest, this is probably going to be my most... 
my least, sorry, my least entertaining video ever. Because this cold is making it so I can't really think of what to say. But, uh, let's go back to the Christmas stuff. I got, um, Assassin's Creed 2 and Modern Warfare 2. Assassin's Creed 2. I finally beat it yesterday. Man, that game is amazing. If you haven't played it, go play it. But why is Linda just amazingly fast, even with a ghost on her? I don't get it. Sorry. But, uh, Assassin's Creed 2, man. That game, I just... I blazed through it. I blazed through the entire story mode, because... The story is just so good in that game. The last cutscene, though, man. It's so confusing. It's not really cutscene. It's actually... It's a part where you can actually, like, move and stuff, but, uh... Someone's talking. So it's kind of like a cutscene. It's one of the most confusing things in the world, but it's so crazy. It's great. The only thing disappointing about that game is the final boss. Ezio, which is the guy that you play as during the uh, the memory things in the Animus. You play as Ezio. And, um... Yeah, uh... <clears throat> yeah, the Ezio decides to challenge the guy who becomes Pope. The guy who becomes Pope is, like, Ezio's biggest enemy. And, uh, he only becomes Pope because he wants more power to get close to a piece of Eden. Which, I mean, if you played the first game, this really isn't much of a spoiler, so... But, yeah, so he gets closer to the piece of, a piece of Eden with that. And there's two pieces of Eden. So he gets, so by doing that he gets really close and then Ezio has the other piece of Eden. <clears throat> and, uh, eventually he gets both of them. And there's this guy called the Prophet. Or who is the Prophet. And, uh, wow, what was that? And, um... The guy who's the Pope, really, he believes he's the prophet, but it turns out Ezio's the prophet. It's crazy, the story is so weird. But the final boss fight between you and the Pope, Ezio just challenges him to, you know, hand-to-hand -hand combat. It's so pathetic. You, like, grab him, you punch him three times, you grab him again off the floor, and you punch him. That was the only broken part of the game right there. If they never made you, gave you the ability to, like, hit people... While, uh, you know, grabbing them, it would have been so much harder to beat him. Because, like, that guy, he wasn't a very good hand-to-hand, -hand com you know, combatant. He was actually really bad with hand-to-hand -hand combat. But he was really powerful, so it was like, if you ever got hit by him, if he got, like, two punches on you, you lose, like, four squares of health right away. It's crazy. He's really, like, gay powerful, but, uh, yeah. That's the only disappointing part of that game, and then Modern Warfare 2, I beat in, like, four hours. It's a really short game. It's a really short campaign, so. Oh my god, there was really a rock there. I swear, I don't want to come in third. I don't want to do this video again. But yeah, this is my second time doing it. Sweet. Awesome. Now, yeah, and then, you know, the really only reason that people like Modern Warfare 2 is because of the online, but... I don't know, I was more sucked in with, um... With, Mo uh, with uh, Assassin's Creed 2. Well, uh, that's it for this video. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.